All right, so the last image that you're going to be working on is the deer. So this would be a complex object. And sometimes when you have complex objects, it's kind of good to break them apart. We are going to be doing um, using the polyline tool to create the deer on this one. You will need to create the deer in multiple pieces. So that's what's important. So we're going to like trace each flag separately. Sometimes that helps because when really, really complex shapes, these images want to close up on you. So you can actually do it in um, a couple different shapes. It seems to help. Then we're going to make sure we group all of these pieces together to make them the same color with no border color. Okay. So same thing, zoom tool, because that helps me get in really close to this animal so we can see it. And since you're going to work in pieces, you can even zoom in more if you wanted to and then just move around. Like I could just focus in on the head. This is probably fine, but let's try to zoom in one more. Just because it's a complex object and we don't know what objects you're going to be using. So changing up our tool, we're going to select the polyline tool on this one. And we're going to do each shape. Now you could divide this by just doing each ear. It kind of saves on the frustration because if you spend five minutes going over this whole thing and then it closes up on you and you have to restart over, that can get frustrating. Now, once I've done this one time, I'm just going to go ahead and continue to draw more shapes. I know eventually I am going to remove that outline and I'll change the color, but I'll kind of do that at the exact same time and I'll show you the process that I would use. So it doesn't really matter. You can change it up now or you can change it up later. So I'm just going to select his head and neck area. Okay, now I'll scroll so I can see his body. Again, I haven't changed the tool, so I can just keep right on going, making the polyline tool. And I'll divide his body since up into two sections. Oops. Oh no. It's not where I started. There we go. That's where I started. Okay. It's okay to layer on top. Like, so if I'm doing his body here, it's probably, darn it, I closed it and I didn't mean to. Now I gotta delete it. Ugh, so frustrating. Okay, so let's select it again. So that happens sometimes, it happens to me. And again, I'm not using my mouse. I'm much more comfortable if I had my mouse on me right now. So if you have one, use it. All right. All right, once, and you could do each one of these little legs individually. Almost there. Complex objects just take just a little bit of time. I'll do both of these legs at the same time. I think I can do it, but if I'll get frustrated if it closes up. Oh, and it did. I don't know I do that. All right. Delete. Hopefully I'll get it within this five minutes, so this video. Almost. Oh, it wants to get my sidebar. I have to go up. Oh, it's giving me a warning. So let me see if I can get all this in. All right, now that I have everything, let's go back and let's fit. Now I'm going to select all of these at one time, but not the background. So I hold the shift key down. Now I want to make sure this goes to transparent for the outline. I can change my deer to whatever color and I'll make sure I arrange and group those items together. And you 